So I've got some more of these amazing flowers to show you now that the sun is high in the sky and if you can see down there in the centre can you see that? how amazingly delicate and beautiful isn't that extraordinary? look at the depth in there one that's in the sunlight extraordinary beauty what is it that makes us tune into these things there's a certain disposition that comes about there's a change in the heart there's a change in the whole desire of the disposition. What is it that you want from this life? You see, most of the people, they want to get tanned, they want to relax, maybe they want to go in the sea, because they're on holiday, and this is generally what people do on holiday. But when you have a lot of time on your hands and every day is a holiday then you've got two choices. One, you become very bored if you don't have the variety of mind that can keep yourself occupied. Maybe some people will get a hobby or two. But I've never met anybody who states that they don't get bored at least sometimes. But there's no reason why we should get bored because there's so many things to see and think about. So let me show you now a yellow one. And you'll start to notice that all of the colours become accentuated, become brighter. And these are a different variety again. But when we're looking at things, let us not overlook things like this. Because it's all equally as beautiful and amazing just before presently and then after once it's completed what it came to do Hello. I just had a meditation for about an hour, sitting on a bit of a sandy cliff, right here on this beach. And when I opened my eyes, 
I looked around where I was sitting and there was about 150 of these daisies blowing gently in the wind and for about a minute their brightness was accentuated their dancing was animated and again it was like the world was speaking to me and it's a very bizarre thing and I started to laugh and I started to get this smile and this smile is kind of like and the feeling is pure joy and wonder joy and wonder And it's very curious when you watch a bee because you see what they do? Often you can see them and, and it's like they're bathing. They really are digging down and bathing in. Having a whale of a time. Look at that, look. And you see, what they're after, they're after some sort of nectar, which is down beyond those pollen bearers. But due to the amazing genius of nature, whilst the bee is gathering the nectar, which it wants for food, it's gathering the pollen on its hairy back and its head. And then when it goes from flower to flower, this is how the pollination comes about. It's a joy to behold. And such an abundance. And there was another one I noticed the other day, one or two, which are quite obscure. Slightly different variations in colour. Look at the intricacy of the inner part. Gorgeous, huh?